Welcome back to the channel. My name is Naja. Thank you so much for joining me for day 11 of our self love yoga series. Today's practice is centered around the idea of gratitude. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. If you want to check out days one through 10, feel free to check the description below for a link to the playlist. Along with these yoga practices and meditations, I've created a free 14 day digital journal centered around the idea of self-love. There's 14 self-love journal prompts, as well as a space for reflection and a morning's moment page that goes along with the practice. If you'd like to check that out and download it, it's linked in the description as well. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, let's get started. Today's practice, we're starting out in easy seat. We're just gonna take a few moments here to settle into our practice, to bring our awareness to our breath, finding your comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, opening the chest, and just notice your current breathing pattern. Don't try to change or alter it. Just center into this space where you are, as you are. And we'll take a few cycles of breath. As we settle into this space, preparing for practice, you can soften the gaze or close the eyes if you haven't already. You'll bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. And as we kick off this practice, Bring your awareness to the intention that you set on day one of our series. Repeat that affirmation, repeat that intention to yourself here silently. If this is your first time joining us, feel free to set an intention for your practice today, for how you'd like to flow through this series. could be as simple as, I am showing up for myself. I am present. I am giving it my all. Whatever intention or affirmation you need, feel free to repeat it now. You can slowly open the eyes and we'll release into cat and cow or tabletop setting up for cat and cow. Palms come to the mat, knees and hips are stacked, toes untucked. On the inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown. Exhale, round, dropping chin to chest, navel to spine. Again, inhale, open, exhale, release. Flowing through cat and cow, just a few cycles here with your own breath.
final round. Meeting back in neutral, we'll set up for down dog. So tuck the toes and lift the hips. In this first down dog, sometimes it's a bit intense. So pedal up the feet here. Maybe bend both knees, extend. Pressing through the palms, lifting the hips. On your inhale, come high on the toes. On the exhale, sink the heels towards the mat, pressing through the palms. It's this contrast of pushing the floor away, grounding through the soles of the feet, grounding through the toes, the pads of the feet. Nice. Look towards the front of the mat and step through. Forward fold. Halfway lift here. And then release chest to knees. Inhale to roll all the way up, nice and slow. Open the chest at the top of the mat, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, flat back here. Exhale, release, planting the hands and stepping back into plank. Setting up for Chaturanga, you can stay high on the toes or lower to the knees. We'll lower halfway and then lift up the chest. If you want to stay in more of a cobra pose here, you can. Or you can press into the tops of the feet, lifting knees for full up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Three rounds of breath in this down dog. On your next inhale, look towards the top of the mat and step through. Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release. And then roll all the way up, this time reaching fingertips high overhead. Exhale, palm to heart center. Final time, flowing through sun A here. Reach overhead. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Release, planting hands and stepping back. Flowing through your version of Chaturanga here. Nice, up dog. Uh, downward facing dog. The inhale, we'll lift our right leg high, pointing it towards the sky. We'll bend the knee here, creating circles in the hips. And then rotating in the opposite direction. We'll raise the leg again. And then we'll step through. Setting up for warrior one, you'll drop the heel of the back foot to the mat. Toes at a 45 degree angle. Squeeze inner thighs to lift you here. Arms reach overhead. Bend in that front knee. Nice deep breaths here. Core engaged, pelvis tucked just slightly. Big breaths. Nice job. We'll open up to warrior two. Pivoting on that back foot so that the back edge of the mat is parallel with the side of the foot. Nice job. Right arm in front, left arm in back. Strong through the core here. Squeezing inner thighs for support. On the inhale, we'll pivot into crescent. So bringing left arm, swooping it up towards the front of the mat, reaching high, pivoting on back toes. And then we're gonna play with warrior three here. So crescent is a perfect place for us to launch. So you, you can start by bringing arms to chest, palms to heart. And then you'll play by pushing off of the back foot. Just notice how it feels to shift the weight and energy to that front foot. Notice where your 
weight is shifting, is it flowing to the left or right? You'll start with maybe toes low. And then when you're ready to fully extend, you've found your center, your balance, you can push through the back toes, left foot, and shift the weight fully into the right foot. If you need points of contact to the earth, you can bring palms to a pillow, to the floor, or even to blocks. If your back leg is here and you're finding balance, that's fine. If it's here, completely fine. Once you found your center, you can play with extending legs high. You can play with the arms as well. Finding gratitude and gratefulness for wherever you are. You can play with extending arms. We'll breathe here for three, two, one, release. Nice and slow. If you fall out ever, it's okay. You can just come back into it. Big inhale as we step forward into mountain. Exhale, palms to heart center. You'll shake out the left leg, shake out the right leg. Notice how the energy feels through both legs. Coming back into center here, we'll inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, exhale, release. Stepping back, flowing through your version of Chaturanga here. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here. This time we'll inhale our left leg high. Bend the knee, creating circles. Nice. Reach left leg up. Exhale, step through. Pivoting on back toes, dropping that heel. Lifting up into warrior one on this side. Squeezing inner thighs here. Nice job. Big breath. This time we'll open up for warrior two. Front toes straight. Back foot parallel with the back edge of the mat. Squeezing and engaging core. Tucking your pelvis just slightly. Nice deep breaths. Nice pivoting on the back toes. Shifting right arm forward this time. Coming into crescent. So you're high on those back toes. And here you can play with shifting the weight again. So maybe you bring the hands to heart center and you just shift, play with bouncing off of that foot. If you feel stable enough just to head straight into warrior three, feel free to do so. So you can just shift completely. Notice how you feel on this side compared to your right. Finding your stable position on hands, on blocks, or even at heart center. Shaking is normal. Falling out is normal. Just embracing those changes in the body. We're here for three, two, one. Slowly release wherever you are. Big breath in crescent. And then on that next inhale, we'll step through. Nice job. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, flow forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway lift here. Planting the hands and stepping back in your plank position. Flowing through your version of Chaturanga here. 
Nice. Downward facing dog. Nice job. Three rounds of breath here. Breathing nice and deep. Lift high on the toes. This time we'll lower to the knees, setting up for child. So big toes tap, sit the hips back. You can release the forehead to the mat. Big breaths here. We'll take five rounds here. On your next inhale, we'll shift the weight forward, coming to our bellies. We'll release the hands to our sides. Palms can face the ground, face the mat. You can rest to forehead, rest to either cheek. Moving into locust. On the inhale, we'll lift the tops of the feet. Lift the chest and palms, pressing into the hips here. And then on the exhale, we'll release. Inhale up, locust, strong back here, strong core. Slight tuck of the chin, dropping shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, release. One cycle of breath. Inhale up. Big stretch. Feel the activation of the back. Feel the activation of the glutes. Exhale, release. Final time here. Inhale up. Big reach, big stretch. Holding it. Creating space with the breath. Holding for three, two, one. Nice and slow and controlled. We'll release, bringing the palms around, resting cheek to stacked palms. If you have access to a block, you can grab it and we'll lay our right cheek to the block here. You can extend your right arm out to the side for a nice shoulder stretch. You can stay here or you can press through the left hand, turning onto your right side, opening the shoulder more. If you'd like to flip left leg over right, you can do that as well. We'll take three cycles of breath. Inhale, and then exhale, release, switching sides. So planting left cheek to block, extending left arm out. Again, you can stay here or you can peel over to the left side, deepening the stretch. And again, if you'd like to cross over left behind right, you can do that as well. Three cycles of breath. On the exhale, we'll release to our belly and then make our way to our backs. Bring the knees into the chest, giving ourselves a big hug. And then you can extend your left leg long. 
You'll hug your right knee in. We'll hug it into the chest. And then we'll open our right hip, sort of driving the knee towards our shoulder, holding here. You can hold shins or you can hold outer edges of the feet. Breathing here for five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll release nice switching sides. So bringing in our left knee this time. And then we'll hug the knee in close. And then drive the knee towards the shoulder. Big breaths. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Release, bringing both knees back in. And then you'll release the soles of the feet to the mat, moving into supine butterfly or lying butterfly. We'll end today's practice here so you can bring the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to open to the side. If you'd like to place blocks under the knees for support, you can do so. And just as we started practice, we'll end our self-love practice with one hand belly, one hand heart. And in this space of gratitude and awareness, I invite you to just name out loud one thing you're grateful for, for example, and allow those words to leave your lips. Take a moment to rest, to settle in before you go about the rest of your day. You can stay here as long as you need. Thank you so much for practicing with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.